Hey everyone, it's, we're just going over shot. It, it's we were supposed to have more people, but due to circumstances beyond our control, things have happened, and we don't know where people are. Some people s explained why, and others we don't know what happened to them. You know, maybe they're afraid of your new name now. You know, you know, instead of Commodore, you're now Sexual Disease Transmitter. I'm sorry, that name has stuck. You <laughs> Yeah, well, well, okay, well, you know, if you stay yellow, we could have had SDT stand for something else, but uh, now that you're not a Simpson, I'm sorry, man, that's just... Alright, uh, just make it clear, it was like a little joke, I don't have any STDs or SDTs. <laughs> we don't know you don't, but I'm taking your word for that. No, he was asleep earlier today, and he was explaining why he was asleep. And somehow the conversation steered into a dirty place that he meant to say STD, but he said SDT, and it's just like, okay, sexual disease transmitter, anyways. And you know what? That's not the most fucked up thing we're going to go over in this show, and that's bad. Wow, that's saying a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I guess starting while we're on, you know, WTF stuff, we have plenty to choose from this week. Do we want to go into... The Ewoks. Well, it's, we'll save the Ewoks for when Bits around, because I'm sure he can go off on a whole Ewokiness, and that'll keep, trust me, that'll keep. Is he coming? <laughs> Say what? Is he coming, though? Not tonight. <laughs> may uh. or may not. And for those of you who don't know... Bit will probably be back in force next month, we hope. But this month, we may not see him again. <laughs> we should do the pagan ritual. Hey, don't badmouth the pagan ritual. <laughs> no, nope, it's something to bet. <laughs> um, anyways, moving on. Okay. okay. Uh, I, I guess since we are entering the 365 days of political insanity... You know, we haven't even technically started our election cycle, and I'm already sick to death of politics. It, it, this is like the running gag right now. You, you go up to anybody and go, "Are you sick of the Are you sick of the election already?" And everybody is, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, because it's tech related, we can go into it. I honestly want to know what goes through. Yeah. There's a little privacy. <laughs> anyway. Okay, then. I guess that's not interesting. No, I honestly want to know what goes through the mind of a Democrat. I want to know what goes through the mind of a Republican, too. But in this particular case, I want to know what goes through the mind of a Democrat. We have... What letter to Obama? Uh, no, no. Uh, this has nothing to do with Obama. This just has to do with liberal Democrats. The Democrats are posturing for votes, so the Democrats, you know, write a letter to Obama that say, Hey, Obama, push the... Hey! Yes, we are still on! Who is it? Is it Bob or is it, it Ben? It's Bob! Bob the Builder, can we fix it? We're just going to start over with Bob. Okay, well, I'm going to turn my video or we get No, no, leave your video. I'll have him call the other one. Okay. Is he, he never turns his video on anyways. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. We stand and pause for the bob. It sounds like a name of a cult leader, yes. We, we worship Bob. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I can't. He's our Steve. <laughs> there he goes. Bob? Hello. 
You you're like really low for some reason. That's better, Bob. If you can turn it up a little more, Bob. Even I made it. That's <laughs> saying something. <laughs> Considering he already said he's not going to, that would be saying something. <laughs> Though it wouldn't be the first time he's done that to us. No, I'm not going to make it. Hey, y'all still on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Damn sleep. Okay, sleepy. Can you hear him? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll take two, starting Sean. We have sexually transmitted disease and Bob from the net, possibly with a new microphone. Yeah. <laughs> and half awake. <laughs> ah, half awake Bob from the net. Welcome, half awake Bob. <laughs> Anyways, we were just fixing to get into the um, what must go through the mind of a Democrat. Oh, okay, setting the politics aside for the moment, because the truth is strange enough here. We have most Americans honestly against the T-Mobile AT&T merger. The Justice Department is investigating it. We have AT&T customers suing AT&T. We have T-Mobile customers protesting the AT&T merger. And we have other cell phone companies suing AT&T and T-Mobile to stop the merger alongside the Justice Department trying to stop it. So what do the Democrats think the best thing to do in this insanity is? Why? Let the merger happen. Yeah, contact Obama and say, Obama, please tell the Justice Department not to do their job and push the merger through anyways. To which the immediate reaction is seven strongly democratic states say, oh hell no, and join the Justice Department in suing against the merger. <laughs> That's messed up. So, I, I just have to know, what goes through the brain of a Democrat? It's like they wake up in the morning and say, what is the dumbest, stupidest thing we can do which will alienate our constituents. I know! Yeah, we'll do that! <laughs> so about these. Oh no, those don't even enter into it. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, am I over-jumping on that? Or, or is, is there like a way to paint that in a good light? Maybe they thought their constituents wanted the merger to go through? I mean, California of all states is saying hell no. That's about as democratic as you can get, you know. <laughs> you know, wow. it's like what? What are these seven states here? Let me let me pull them up. I mean, it's is, is my state one of them? Here, it, it's ah. Uh, I, I should have put all seven states here instead of having to look them up. Yeah. Ah. Uh. The states are New York, Washington, California, and I'm going to call it Illinois, because I always have to call Illinois Illinois, Massachusetts, Ohio, uh, excuse me, uh, Pennsylvania, so, you, no, Rhode Island is not one of them. <laughs> okay, so number 13 in the, in the call is, is one to seven. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure other states may join, but I mean, it, pretty much all of these, I mean, all seven of these states are die-hard Democratic states, and their response to the Democrats is, hell no, hell no. It's like, I, I, 
just when I thought this year could not get any more interesting. Uh, yeah. I take it y'all don't find that as insane as I do. See, so you, you, you appreciate the irony of Democratic states telling the Democrats, shove it. Yeah, that's pretty much politics in general, regardless of Republican or Democrat. You're right. Yeah, there's that aspect, too. I am a politician. I promise and solemnly swear to do what's in your least best interest. To promise you the moon and deliver shit. I have taken the politician's pledge, so I may now commit... It's more absurd. I, for, I actually forgot about this. Uh, I, I don't want you on the PlayStation Network. No. Yeah, I got PSN. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I already know. I give up my legal rights to um, sue Sony. <laughs> they must not have very much faith that they've yeah. secured their network. <laughs> no, wait. I think the thing was right. You can't make further further lawsuits. Like you can't sue them for removing Linux or something like that. No, you're just not allowed to sue them in general for any damages or loss of information. That's messed up. <laughs> Basically, you're not allowed back on the network unless you waive your right to the legal protections you have for them effing up. Uh, I hope there's a legal loophole or something. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. I'm sure some lawyer will argue it at some point, but I mean, people are voluntarily signing this if they're on the PlayStation Network at this point. That, that, that gives me an overwhelming amount of confidence that they have properly secured their network and it will never be hacked again. <laughs> oh. Well, obviously, that doesn't bob you, bother you, Bob. <laughs> well, what happens when they piss off the where they want to modify the system to do more things. Okay, you have to say all that again, Bob, because Connie was talking over you. Well, anyway, he, what Sony did is they pissed off the culture that want they wanted them to do more things. They came, they sued us, uh, they, they sued a kid for crying out loud. And like the hack, the hacktivist, I guess but they call him cyberterrorist, but whatever. And you know, like they just attacked him because they pissed him off. Uh, Wasn't that any 14 year old? No, <laughs> uh, I think it was like 16 or 17. Oh, okay. But anyway, this is a kid that just wanted more functionality of his device. Is, that, is, that, is there anything really wrong with that? Yes! You're the consumer, not the company. You're not allowed to have more functionality or in any way, shape, or form do anything which in exercises your liberties or freedoms. You know what? Warranties were made to be voided. That's all I have to say. <laughs> the more you tell people no, the more people that are going to try to break what you just told them to not do. Uh, I, yeah, it, it, it's almost like pouring gasoline on a fire or shining this blazing spotlight. Hi. Okay, everybody. You see this giant switch that we're shining the light on and pointing out to you? Don't switch it. <laughs> Don't press the big red button. That says push. <laughs> Anyways, before we get completely off killed, you were moving on to an iPhone, Miss Kami? What, what do you mean? You started talking about iPhones or something? No, I didn't. What about the iPhone? Well, wait, there, there's a couple of iPhone stories. Which one do you want to go over? Do you want to go over the fact that Samsung is playing Hi Pop Me Kettle. You want to ban us in Germany and try and get us banned in the EU? Fine, we're going to go to the ITC and get you banned in the US, possibly even go after your Korean suppliers and make it illegal to export iPhone 5s from Korea. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good move. They're just doing 
I'm supposed to get that thrown out because of Apple. That's for Apple's money. <laughs> What'd you say, Bob? They're just pulling an Apple Gustavo, too. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm sorry. The, of all the Apple, anti-Apple suits, the Samsung Apple one at this point has gotten so absurd. I'm not even sure either of them are living on Earth anymore. It's just... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Well, the way I see it, if you be a dick, people be, people be a dick back to you, you know? Yeah, but I'm, I, I've never been a big fan of the eye for an eye miss, and it, it, it's... But I'm just saying, you know, like, that's, that's not the whole Sony thing. That's why Sony is starting to go into the cost of the business, because uh, Nintendo is being a dick to them. <laughs> I guess. And now, they're, and now they're getting all the liability for be, for letting all their customers get hacked. And yeah, hacked they and know hacked what happens when people hacked. are uh, being dicks to them. You know, when they be dicks to people, then they be dicks back, you know? <laughs> Uh, you know, actually, Samsung has a case here, but Samsung won't make a comment on what their ultimate plan is and who they're and how they're going to fully go after that. Personally, I think Samsung's just doing this to go, okay, Apple, fine, we'll play ball. You know, you want to screw with us, we'll dick with you. That's and, and we'll see where that lands. Um, you know, supposedly next month Apple's going to come out with the iPad 3 and not one, but two new iPhones, says the New York Times. We'll see. You know, I'm seeing the rumor mill really wrap up now for Apple. I'm not sure I believe half of anything they say. Man, why there be two new iPhone 5s? The, the rumor is there'll be two, you know, it, it goes in line with the rumor that they might be putting it on the Sprint network, that there might be, uh, you know, they might come out and go, here's our CDMA, here's our Qualcomm one for international, Here, here's our, I, or maybe they'll make a cheap one, or maybe they'll have design one, design two, or this could just be bullshit and the New York Times wants to sell newspapers, you know, <laughs> Well, we all know that New York Times wants to sell newspapers. Uh, Gotta think, what's his name that doesn't uh, like the new business model that can't sell ads anymore? Yeah, have you read the New York Times? It's half ads. <laughs> I don't care if you call them ads. It's half advertising. They're either advertising political views or they're advertising commercial views or something. The whole newspaper's an ad. <laughs> Hey, pay for more ads. It's like cable. Exactly. 